At Honda, we are striving to create fun-to-drive cars with minimal impact on the environment. And to achieve this goal, we are working to concurrently purify emissions and further improve fuel efficiency. We believe that developing genuine environmental technologies does not require a trade-off between fuel efficiency and exhaust emissions. Rather, it requires the achievement of both reduced fuel consumption and cleaner emissions. The search for an ever more efficient combustion process has always been at the heart of Honda research and development. Ongoing development of our VTEC technology and alternative fuel vehicles such as the EV Plus are testaments to this. The Honda Integrated Motor Assist System is a totally new approach to the use of a hybrid power unit to achieve both low emissions and superb fuel efficiency. It's Honda's way of meeting this long-standing challenge. The existing hybrid requires large capacity batteries that are mainly used to power the electric motor that propels the car. As power from the electric motor is called upon at each speed, the existing hybrid requires a complex system that allocates engine output to both driving force and power generation. Honda thinks the engine is the key to reducing fuel consumption and has developed a system in which the motor only assists the engine during acceleration. At cruising speeds, assistance from the electric motor is stopped and the engine alone propels the car. Power is thus used more efficiently for an unprecedented reduction in overall power consumption. This new approach also makes the mechanism lighter and more compact. Honda's IMA system is a combination of a new generation 1-litre lean-burn VTEC engine, a thin DC brushless motor that boasts the world-class output density and efficiency already seen in the EV+, a power control unit or PCU which optimizes powering of the motor and energy recovery, and lightweight nickel hydride batteries that weigh a mere 20 kilograms. The Honda IMA offers optimal engine efficiency at all speeds. This is thanks to a highly advanced VTEC engine, a thin DC brushless motor connected directly to the engine and the PCU's highly efficient energy management. The Honda IMA's motor generator provides some 5 kilograms per meter of torque during acceleration when the engine is subject to maximum loading. This means more powerful acceleration and reduced fuel consumption. Once the car is up to cruising speed, motor assist stops. When the driver re-accelerates, the motor provides assistance, depending on the vehicle's speed and the throttle opening rate requested. During deceleration, the IMA recovers the deceleration energy once lost in the form of heat. It also charges the battery for the next time power assistance is required. When the vehicle comes to a stop, the engine stops automatically, thereby further cutting fuel consumption. The engine restarts automatically when the driver steps on the accelerator, at which point the electric motor's high torque and optimized PCU power management provides a smooth, natural restart. Thanks to this very precise control of power management, Honda's IMA system delivers ultra-low fuel consumption in all driving situations, from bumper-to-bumper -bumper city driving to high-speed motorway driving. The development objectives for Honda's new generation 1-litre lean-burn VTEC engine were further improved combustion efficiency, reduced exhaust emissions, 
and reduced friction loss. To improve combustion efficiency, Honda has created new generation Lean Burn VTEC technology that represents a significant advance over current VTEC technology. Honda has created a single rocker arm shaft for a narrower valve angle and a more compact combustion chamber. The generation of a more powerful swirl effect and increased compression ratio result in an even quicker combustion process. In current Lean Burn engines, Lean combustion only occurs in limited ranges. But with the IMA, Lean Burn, which is highly efficient combustion, is achieved in a wider range of driving situations. To concurrently lower emissions levels and improve fuel efficiency, Honda has developed a new catalytic converter and cylinder head. The newly developed Lean Burn compatible nitrogen oxide absorption type catalytic converter now allows for exhaust emission processing even under Lean Burn conditions. In the first step, carbon monoxide, which is the major component of nitrogen oxides discharged during lean burn combustion, is made to react with oxygen to create carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide is then temporarily stored in the catalytic converter. In the second step, the air-fuel ratio is precisely controlled to let the absorbed carbon dioxide react with exhaust gas components to produce cleaner exhaust emissions. Honda's new nitrogen oxide absorption type catalytic converter is far more heat resistant than conventional occlusion type catalytic converters. Honda has also developed the world's first exhaust manifold integrated aluminium cylinder head. Conventionally, engines require the same number of exhaust manifolds as cylinders. With the new engine, however, the exhaust manifolds are located within the head as components of an integrated exhaust pipe to reduce heat loss. The catalytic converter can thus be brought to operating temperature more quickly for cleaner emissions. Thanks to this new technology, cold start exhaust emissions are significantly reduced and the engine is lighter and more compact. Honda IMA recovers deceleration energy, the less the friction loss, the greater the energy that can be recovered. Thus for the IMA, reduced friction loss is even The type coaxial VTEC mechanism first introduced in the Honda S2000 has now been developed for use in a single camshaft configuration. The adoption of a roller bearing in the cam follower in contact with the camshaft helps further reduce friction losses. At the same time, reduced inertial moment through a more compact design has been achieved by integrating the sliding pin used to operate the cam profile switch into the roller structure. The highly rigid, lightweight connecting rods are heat treated and carburized to make their surfaces even stronger. The surface of the piston skirt is dimpled and processed so it stays coated with a film of oil. In addition, offsetting the piston and the crank axes helps reduce frictional resistance between the piston and the sleeve. Attention to details like these has led to a significant reduction in friction losses. The product of advanced research to improve combustion efficiency and reduce friction losses, Honda's new engine alone is over 10% more fuel efficient than traditional lean burn engines and over 30% more efficient than conventional engines. The adoption of a magnesium oil pan, the use of resin components wherever possible and other efforts towards lightness and compactness make this engine the lightest one litre engine on the market today. Bringing together a new generation one litre lean burn VTEC engine 
and Honda's original motor assist, Honda's IMA system delivers improved torque during acceleration with the motor and high output at high revs with VTEC. This translates into improved engine efficiency in all driving situations. Honda has been making efforts to create lightweight passenger cars that also offer superior passenger protection. With the NSX, Honda was the first car maker to mass produce a lightweight, highly rigid, all aluminium body. Honda also developed a new technology for optimum control of impact forces generated in a collision. The result is the world's highest standard for collision safety, even in the small car category. Honda started producing a highly rigid open body that offers the passenger the protection of a closed body. In our continued pursuit of fuel efficiency, body weight reduction also plays a major role. Taking full advantage of the qualities of aluminium, Honda has developed a lightweight aluminium body to provide world-leading passenger protection within the weight limits of a compact car. Aluminium is not only one-third the weight of steel, it's also very easy to mould and incorporate into a variety of places within the body structure. Taking full advantage of aluminium's qualities, Honda has been able to develop highly rigid, lightweight aluminium body technology that provides superb passenger protection. Honda's aluminium body technology uses extrusion molded material with high precision joints, optimized panel thickness and cross-section shapes to produce a lightweight, highly rigid frame. The most appropriate structures and manufacturing methods for each member are adopted to efficiently improve rigidity. The extrusion moulds used for the pillars and roof side rails are created using proprietary high-precision three-dimensional bending moulding technology. With this technology, the frame is put into a three-dimensional controlled mould and is precisely moulded through extrusion. Even delicate curves for the roof side rails can be formed with great accuracy. Complex, optimised cross-sectional shapes can thus be formed to make the body as light and rigid as possible. Die-cast moulding technology is used to form the joint members, such as the rear outriggers, front lower arm brackets and engine mounts. Using die-cast moulding technology, Honda has taken full advantage of aluminium's moldability to develop a joint in which several frames are wrapped together. Joint rigidity and dimensional precision have been achieved in a simple structure by having each joint perform more than one function. The rear outrigger is subjected to heavy loading. To create it, Honda has applied thixotropy moulding technology. With this technology, the mould is not filled with molten aluminium but with semi-molten aluminium to give the rear outrigger consistent and stable physical qualities that contribute to a thin, light, more rigid joint. Thanks to the application of the latest technologies, the new aluminium body is more rigid than a steel body. It's also more than 40% lighter than a corresponding steel body in white. This new lightweight aluminium body structure incorporates Honda's proprietary technology 
to offer superb omnidirectional collision safety qualities and world-leading passenger protection. The new aluminium body has a strong floor frame created with highly rigid extrusion molds and joints that are designed to efficiently absorb and distribute impact energy in all directions. In a front collision, the ends of the front side frame absorb the impact energy. The ends of the front side frame have a thin hexagonal cross-section structure formed of six equilateral triangles. This allows the frame to crumple like an accordion and effectively absorb impact energy. In addition, the gently curved back half of the front side frame bends to absorb impact energy, which helps keep the frame from entering the cabin. The strong floor structure and improved rigidity of sections around the center pillar, which is the member closest to passengers, provide protection in side collisions. Impact energy is absorbed by the floor cross members, which join the right and left side sills and the center pillar. The rear side frame has a cross section composed of four rectangles which also crumple like an accordion to absorb impact energy over a short distance in a rear collision. The height difference between the rear side frame and the side sills has been minimized to more effectively distribute impact energy and to reduce the weight. Thanks to these technologies, the new aluminium body passes Honda's 55 km an hour full frontal and 64 km an hour offset deformable barrier tests to offer world-leading passenger protection. The body also affords equally high protection inside and rear collisions. On top of this, new technologies aimed at reducing pedestrian injury levels have been adopted. Honda's Integrated Motor Assist System, or IMA system, delivers low fuel consumption and reduced emission levels under a full range of driving conditions.